Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss how to set up three phase inspections in RMS. Now let's get started. The three phase inspections control concept is the cornerstone of the Corps of Engineers quality control quality assurance program. The details and requirements of which are covered in the contract's quality control specification. The three phase inspections are preparatory, initial, and follow up. The preparatory phase occurs prior to beginning work on a definable feature of work. In this phase, all required plans, documents, and materials are approved and accepted. In the initial phase, this is performed at the beginning of a definable feature of work, generally after a representative sample of work is completed. And finally, the follow-up phase. This occurs daily thereafter until the work associated with the feature is completed, at which the time the final follow-up should be conducted to close out the feature. To set up the information needed for the inspections, navigate to the QC tab and select the three-phase inspection module. RMS3 has included a library of inspection checks that are numbered, generally following the CSI or Construction Specification Institute Master Format 1995 edition numbering system. This library represents a collection of issues that could affect quality if not properly addressed. You are encouraged to take advantage of the contents of this library when developing your worksheet for each phase of work. The definable features of work can be located in the Features of Work module. This can be viewed at any time by clicking the Back button, then selecting Features of Work. This menu will display a list of definable features of work to be used in a three-phase inspection. If the features of work are specified on the contract-related schedule activities, the features of work can be imported as part of the SDEF file import. Otherwise, they need to be manually added or edited prior to using the three-phase inspection module. For more information on how to add a feature of work to a contract, please see the link in the description of this video. Let's head back to the three-phase inspection module to continue. To view or add checks to a feature, Select the feature by double-clicking on the feature title. The list of checks corresponding to any of these categories can be seen simply by clicking anywhere in the corresponding blue tiles. A filtered list of the categories selected will be displayed in the table below. To manually add an inspection check, simply click the Add button and select Manually Add Inspection Check from the drop-down list. Select from the Check Type drop-down that identifies the type of inspection check you are adding. This can either be preparatory, initial, or final. Then describe the check in the box provided. Select OK when it's finished. To copy checks from the RMS library, click on the Add button. Then click on Copy Checks from Three Phase Inspections in Library. Then choose from the populated selection. For this demonstration, we will click Cancel. To copy checks from Three Phase Inspections from another contract, click on the Add button, then choose the Copy Checks from Three Phase Inspections from another contract. This selection will open a box that displays all your contracts in the upper half of the section. This feature might be useful if another contract has the required checks necessary to complete this inspection. Click on a contract and the features of work with the number of three-phase inspections that are included in that contract will be displayed in the lower section. Select the feature of work from which you want to copy, then click on OK. Since none of these contracts have three-phase inspections to choose from, there will be no checks added. Selecting checks from three-phase inspection checks in Government Library allows you to choose from Government Populated List of Checks. Click Add and select the appropriate option. This will open a box containing a list of the CSI divisions on the left and the checks associated with the selected divisions on the right. Click on a division to expand it and see the subdivisions within it. Then click on the subdivision to see a filtered list of checks associated with the selected subdivision. Add a check mark to the desired checks for your contract, then click OK. The selected checks are now copied to your contract. By selecting the checks from work types in Government Library, the options will present themselves much like previously demonstrated, but are displayed as work types for easier navigation. Choose the subdivision, then select the desired work numbers and click OK. All the copied checks are now on your contract and are as the same as those in the library. You can still delete or edit any of the copy checks. You may also change the details on the checks to conform to the specifics of your contracts. To change the details of a check, select the check and double click on it or select edit. You may enter or delete information as needed. When done editing, click on the back button. To remove any unwanted checks, click on delete. You can remove checks individually or more than one at a time. By enabling multiple delete, you may select each of the check numbers and click delete selected records. If we click delete once more, we have the option to delete all the records previously added. We will click no and continue. Now we must complete a three-phase inspection document package for this work activity and submit it for review. Click the add button, then add once more to select a document from our file system. Choose the document and click open. It is important to sign the documents before submitting them for review. 
Click Sign Selected Documents at the top. Choose the document and click Next. Ensure the document signature position is selected and click Finish. Enter your PIN or password, then click Sign. Lastly, we will click Submit for Review and click the Back button to save. Our document package status now reflects in Review. Click the Back button once more to save. We can now see this particular feature of work has now 15 preparatory checks, 6 initial checks, and 1 follow-up check as part of this 3-phase inspection. In order to set up the actual dates and times for these inspections, we will need to navigate to the QC Daily Reports module. Let's click the Contract menu button at the top, then click QC Daily Reports. For this demonstration, we will select an already created QC Daily Report and double-click to edit. Under the Prep Initial Inspection tab, here we can see a list of all features for this contract. We will select one of these features to add the inspection dates and times. As you can see, we have the preparatory, initial, scheduled, and held dates. To add these dates, simply click on any of the calendar icons and choose the appropriate dates. Then add the time in the time field. The time formatting is standard. Using a 24-hour format will not work. Once we have entered the selected dates and times, click the back button to save. If we wish to add multiple schedules, we must enter both the initial and preparatory schedule above before adding another scheduled meeting time. Enter back into the feature schedule and click the Add button under Multiple Prep and Initial Schedule Meetings. Fill this menu out just as previously shown. For this demonstration, we will not need to add additional schedules. Click the Back button once more to save all the changes and complete the QC Daily Report as normal. For a more in-depth description on how to complete a QC report, please see the link in the description box below. The three-phase inspection module will help build an agenda for the three-phase meetings. You may generate any of the reports whether preparatory, initial, or final follow-up at any time in the Contract Reports module. If we click the Contract Menu button at the top, then select the Contract Reports tab, select the QA QC drop-down arrow, and choose either the three-phase control worksheets for any of the reports previously listed. For this demonstration, we will select the initial control worksheet. This contract report will allow us to group the QC requirements by either the features of work or by an activity. Let's choose Group by Features of Work and select the Administration Feature title. By clicking the Preview button, the RMS Report Viewer will display a list of all activities included under Administration, including QC requirements, QA QC deficiency items, labor rates, job safety, or QA evaluation notes. These reports may help generate an agenda that can be but doesn't necessarily have to be used for the various QC meetings. In summary, we discussed how to set up three-phase inspections in RMS, as well as how to demonstrate and add different types of checks from different libraries. As a reminder, even after a selection has been made, you may still delete or edit any copied checks as well as change the details to better fit the specifics for your contract. If you experience any technical error messages or have any difficulties attempting to set up three-phase inspections, please submit a help desk support ticket. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description of this video. We hope you found this video informative, and thank you for watching.